We are happy to have Elder Tereski with us this morning. And he's been retired some time now, but he said that he often said yes when someone asked him, so we're glad that he came this morning. First Corinthians 1, beginning with verse 30. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorious, let him glory in the Lord. Thank you very much for reading the scripture. Well, I like to use several translations, not that one wouldn't do, but a lot of times just the nuances in the different ways that they translate uh, the particular verse uh, gives us additional understanding and helps us to mean or understand what the true meaning is of each of these verses. The Bible I'm using now, and by the way, I'll quote from several different Bibles, but the one that I really like uh, for a modern translation is called the New Living Translation. It's not the Living Bible because that's a paraphrase. That's uh, someone has given his ideas as to what the verse should Say. But this is a true translation. Now, uh, why do we find different translations? Uh, when I studied Greek in college and, and then at the university, I found out that, uh, that truly in both Greek and Hebrew, you can translate certain words uh, by the way they are used in the sentence. And even in English we do that, you know. We uh, explain what we're saying by, by using several different words that mean the same thing. So uh, it shouldn't be too hard for us to understand that you can uh, change the meaning or even uh, express the meaning in a little different way by translation. You've heard uh, what you used uh, the uh, King James, is it? Yeah. That sounded like the King James to me, but I wanted to be sure that I wouldn't uh, make a mistake on that. And I'm going to use uh, now my new living translation in my newest Bible. Uh, by the way, I have about 30 of them, so uh, I'd like to look at several different ways that different translators uh, express the verse. But by his doing, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. That's the new Revised Standard Version. This morning you may have looked at the bulletin and noted the subject that I'm uh, I am going to be presenting. Uh, what, were, what did you think? What was your musing of looking at the text, text and saying, I wonder what this preacher is going to say. I wonder what, which direction he's going to go with it. Then you heard the text. What your, are your thoughts? Last Sabbath evening, my wife and I were uh, a week ago, we were watching the 3ABN channel, and Jim Gilly had a young minister there that he was interviewing. And this fellow has to be pretty bright because uh, he was showing the importance of understanding who God is, who Jesus is, and how much their concern for us as human beings. Jesus, of course, made us. So if you make something, you know you put a lot of effort in it, and so you want it to be right. And so Jesus wants us to be right in that respect. And then uh, 
he talked about how uh, even the simple little song, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. And I, and I thought of an uh, illustration that one of our pastors used. And this is something that really happened. A uh, young mother was very proud of her first son. And so he showed early promise in being able to sing. And so she thought she would teach him this uh, little song that we learned. Jesus loves me. This I know. You know we learned that way back when. Uh, I remember my mother teaching me that song and then my sisters teaching it uh, to me. Uh, they both ended up to be teachers. My oldest sister was teaching nursing and working in SAC uh, early in her career and then traveled all over this country and even into uh, uh, other uh, countries in the world. But anyway, he said, uh, or rather this story begins with this mother wanting to show that her son was special, that he could sing, and so she chose this little ditty, you know, that teaches a very important lesson. And uh, so, Jesus loves me, this I know. And so she got him up in Sabbath school. She thought she'd better start with Sabbath school so that he wouldn't be afraid of a crowd. And he was very young, but still he had the ability to sing. We have a couple of youngsters in, in uh, uh, Cloverdale Church that I'm just amazed. They're little types. No taller than that, but they sound like bones when they sing. 